ChatGPT Vision is here, and it's completely changed the game for just-in-time learning and learning anything faster than ever before. GPT Vision allows us to upload an image and use GPT-4 to analyze that image, meaning that we can do some really cool things to help us learn, from solving a written math equation to translating a sign in a foreign country. Being able to add images to ChatGPT saves me loads of time, but there aren't many guides on how to use it to help us to study and learn faster and more effectively. So I've put together 10 of the best GPT Vision prompts that you can use right now to to take your learning to the next level. If you want to follow along, GPT Vision is available for ChatGPT Plus subscribers, and it can also be accessed for free on Bing, and all of the prompts in this video are linked in the description below so that you can steal them for yourself. So hit that subscribe button, and let's jump in to the first GPT Vision prompt that I've been using to learn anything faster. When we first come across a new diagram in a book, it can take time to figure out exactly what it means and to deepen our understanding and expand our wider context. For example, this image of the brain is pretty meaningless unless I spend time understanding more about each of the label structures so that I then have context around what we're learning. With GPT-4 Vision, we can now massively reduce this time by simply uploading the image to ChatGPT and using a prompt like this one. Explain this image to me in simple terms that I can understand and provide wider context to the label structures. Getting stuck on any kind of math problem can be really irritating, and unless you have someone there to explain it to you, figuring it out can eat into hours of your time. GPT Vision is a game changer here, as you can quickly take a picture of an equation or visual math problem from a textbook or screenshot it online, and then upload it to ChatGPT and use a prompt like, you are a math expert please solve this math equation for me. Explain in a step-by-step -step guide how to solve this problem to help me understand and do similar problems in the future. Now, if you want to remember everything you read, we need to have a capture system that stores what we've read in a knowledge repository. This is what building a second brain is all about. The problem here is that most note systems allow you to capture content, but then you need to spend time pulling out the most useful information and applying that information into your daily life. With GPT Vision, we can now quickly capture a page from a book or screenshot from an online article and have ChatGPT summarize the key points and also help us to apply these points points into our daily lives. We can even upload multiple images and summarize multiple pages at once. We can use a prompt like, summarize this book screenshot and give me actual steps for applying each of the principles into my daily life. Active Recall is the most effective way to make sure we're actually learning and that what we're learning is sticking in our brains. When it comes to images, it can be really tricky creating recall questions as there's no text to copy and paste. With ChatGPT Vision, we can now upload any image and ask ChatGPT to create recall questions that help us to better remember that image or diagram that we want to learn from. Let's take this incorrectly labeled animal cell from biology, for example, and use the following prompt. Write a multiple choice question with one correct answer and four incorrect distractor answers from the image. Answers should be labeled A to E. Provide an explanation and the correct answer at the end. Now, tables, charts, and datasets help to visually convey information to us quickly, but sometimes understanding and interpreting that data can be really time consuming. Luckily, ChatGPT can help us here too. I've been uploading graphs and charts from research papers to save time interpreting what that data actually means. For example, we can upload this series of bar charts from Jeffrey Carpick's research into effective learning methods and use the following prompt to learn more about that data and what it actually means to us in simple terms. Explain to me the significance of the data shown in these graphs from a study by Carpick et al. into the effectiveness of learning methods. 
If we're learning how to code, practical tasks get us to mastery much faster than just reading theory. Sometimes we have a vision for what we want to code and create, and we're just not sure where to start. To help short circuit this, I've been using ChatGPT Vision to analyze hand-drawn website wireframes and screenshots of websites, and then asking it to break down how the code is structured as a coding tutor. For example, we can upload this hand-drawn wireframe and then ask ChatGPT the following prompt. Take this image of a website landing wireframe and write the code for the website which I can then use. Provide an explanation for each section of code so that I can learn from the process. Now, while deliberate study sessions are necessary for learning, sometimes we want to learn things in the moment. This is called just-in-time learning, and it's a really effective way to learn as we're already curious about a topic and we actively want to know more. For example, if I'm on holiday in somewhere like Spain, I'll want to understand what a street sign might say, not just because it helps me to navigate, but also because it actually helps me to learn Spanish. With ChatGPT, we can take a picture on our phones and then have GPT Vision translate in real time. And this works great if you like learning a new language from a book too, as you can upload and then have ChatGPT act as a language tutor using screenshots of the book in a foreign language. For example, we can upload a photo of a Japanese street sign and then use the prompt, translate this sign into English. Sticking with languages, one of the best ways to learn a new language quickly is to combine the new language with things you're familiar with. I like watching a film on Netflix in a different language or reading a book I'm familiar with in a language that I'm learning to help speed up my language learning time. Our brains then fill in the gaps. ChatGPT Vision can help here too. We can upload a familiar photograph and then ask ChatGPT to describe that photo back to us. As we sort of know the description already, it will challenge us to figure out the language that we don't know. For example, we can upload a picture and then use the prompt, you're a Spanish teacher, describe this image to me in Spanish so that I can match Spanish words with visual elements I'm familiar with in English. And we can then ask ChatGPT to give us the description in our own language to see how we did. Next up, creating an effective study schedule helps us to organize how effectively we learn. The problem here is that organizing learning sessions around a busy life can be super challenging. ChatGPT Vision can help here too. You can upload an image of your hand-drawn timetable or grab a screenshot from your computer and then ask ChatGPT to optimize it. We can use the prompt, take this image of my study schedule and optimize it to help me learn more effectively. Output the final schedule in a table format, which I can then copy. Finally, one cool thing you might have missed with ChatGPT Vision is that you can actually upload multiple images at the same time. This is great if you want to create a teaching session on a topic from a book where you might want to grab multiple images of multiple pages in order to teach a topic. Teaching is a great way to share what you've learned with others while helping you to consolidate your own learning, but creating materials for teaching takes a lot of time. With ChatGPT Vision, we can upload multiple images and then create an interactive teaching session using a prompt like this one. Summarize the content of these book pages and then design a 20 minute lesson that I can use to teach salespeople at my company covering the principles in the book pages. Combine Gagne's nine events of instruction with immersion learning when creating the lesson. And that's it. I hope you found this video on AI prompts for studying helpful for your own learning and study routine. To help you steal the prompts and try them out, I've added in a link down below to a list of all the prompts so that you can copy and paste them easily using your own examples. I've also got a really awesome video covering even more prompts for studying, which will pop up over here that's definitely worth checking out. Thanks so much for watching and subscribing, and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.